Have you ever played the game Mafia? Essentially, it's a game where everyone is given a role and you know what your role is, but you have no idea who anyone else is. The Mafias are tasked with hiding who they are in order to continue to stay in the community. And the civilians are tasked with finding each individual who does not belong. I have been playing this game since the eighth grade, but not in the way that you might think. It all started in the spring of 2020 when I received a knock on my door. And no, it was not a mafia boss coming for me and my family. It was a package. And I fully expected it to be an Amazon package for my family with something that they definitely did not need. But until I read the label, I realized it was addressed from 8328 Georgetown Pike, McLean, Virginia. So why would I be receiving a package from Virginia? I didn't know until I opened the package and I was surprised to see an acceptance letter to the number one all girls boarding school in Virginia, as you may have seen plastered around the campus. So I was overcome with so many emotions. Of course I was excited and super happy, but I also had a lot of doubt and I was scared because I was leaving my home state to go across the US with new friends, new teachers, new experiences. And I knew that I would have to change in order to prove that I had earned my spot at the school and I belonged in the community. So flash forward to freshman year, it was my A block class, English, which is not my worst subject, but not my best subject either. So I knew I needed to work hard in order to prove myself. I gave my 100% effort and I was reading every detail. I knew the syllabus by heart and I still did not feel prepared. I didn't think I would ever be prepared, but I had to at least make it look like I knew what I was doing. So the whole first week I was engaged in my classes and I was online. So it was difficult to make friends. All I knew was that I had to do as well as everyone else in the class without knowing how they were actually doing. Then after the first week, we had our first quiz and I had spent hours studying. I was sleep deprived. I was stressed. I was overwhelmed and I still did not feel prepared. I actually felt less prepared than before because although I had learned so much, it made me realize how little I actually knew. So I hid behind oversimplified answers and vague responses, and it showed. When I got that quiz back and I saw my grade, I thought, well, my, the jig is up. I've been caught. I'm, there's no way I can come back from this. But I just wanted to be sure. So I scheduled a meeting with my teacher. And of course, she told me, it's the first quiz. You've got to calm down. You can build yourself up from this. You've got this. So I took this as I need to work harder. I need to put 200% in. So I became tired, but I felt like I was, it was helping me in the end. And it wasn't until a later team's call for some group project we had to do when someone finally said, hey, is it just me or am I not doing so great? Or, hey, I'm really struggling with this. Can we find a solution to this problem? Statistically, 85% of women never talk about their struggles for fear of being seen as weak. 
I was lucky enough to be among the 15% that day. And I was able to talk about what was going wrong and my struggles. And it didn't make me weak. It made me stronger. So what was going through my head during this time? Was it just doubt? Was I just like everyone else? Well, the key difference is that my doubt led to a feeling of not belonging. And this feeling is called imposter syndrome. Many young successful women struggle with imposter syndrome, but we never talk about it. And that's why it gets worse. And even after Madeira, it's just as important to continue these conversations and to talk to each other about our struggles and how we can build each other up and how we can earn that position and earn more and achieve our goals. Because together, when we address our struggles, we're able to do more. We're able to be open and therefore able to able to do able to do the more than others in that we can our careers can be centered around togetherness and struggle and overcoming the struggle instead of weakness and being alone and not knowing what you're doing i often get told wow helen you look so put together what is your secret well my secret is that I'm fooling all of you into thinking that I'm actually put together. So really, we can help each other in understanding that many people are just pretending and we're all doing our best to act like we belong when really we don't know everything and we're not perfect and we have to stop hiding behind this idea of perfection. So let me give some last words of advice. Never feel unworthy of hard earned success. Never feel like you are a fraud or that you don't belong. Never dismiss positive feedback because the, in the end, ideas like these only contribute to feelings of insignificance and the continuance of imposter syndrome. Thank you.